return. So not con not conclusive yet in terms of debris from this particular tornado. And as you're looking at that, Dr. Forms, on the left, we're uh, watching the camera swing around. I'm not sure uh, how they have this rigged up or if they're out of their vehicle using this. Storm Chasers right now live near Union City, Oklahoma. Visibility down, which may indicate that they're in some of the heavier rain right now that's moving through. And it's hard to see what they're looking at. It looks like they've pulled over and they're on the side of the road. It looked like there was a few more cars around. As one thing we did hear earlier that uh, Interstate, uh, I believe it was Interstate 35, was uh, starting to back up with people trying to get out of town. And that was one thing that, that we were wondering about after the uh, Moore tornado, is what do you do if you don't have the means to get underground? And one of the downsides if you try to get out of the tornado's way is that if everybody tries to get out of the tornado's way, then you could have a traffic jam. And then you have a lot of people that are just stuck out there on the roads, potentially with a tornado heading your way. And we heard from Mike Bettis earlier, who did get hit by the tornado, and they went about 200 yards off the highway into a field, rolled, he doesn't know how many times, and so we know that car is not necessarily the safest place to be. They're okay, but he said if they were in a smaller car, they were in a Yukon, GMC Yukon, he said if they were, there it is. And oh, wow. He, wow, wow, and they were, they're, they, they're all okay. He said they're happy to be alive, and you can understand when you see that right here. So, wow, Dr. Forbes, and that is, uh, 10 days ago, I was riding it back. Uh, it, it uh, is a lot less tall now than I am. It has been squashed. They tumbled over onto the roof uh, and uh, tumbled several times. We're partly airborne. Uh, Mike and Bess and crew have been very lucky to survive, uh, although they do have some, uh, some lacerations. They're a little bit bloodied from it, uh, but uh, and certainly glad to be alive at this point. We, in, the, in that more tornado, we saw countless vehicles that have been tossed through the air upside down on their sides up atop of debris piles 10 miles high and right now we do have ken coles on the phone he's riding with reed timmer and you guys just heard from mike bettis is that right and what's your reaction my gosh it was uh just uh, so much to take in all at once we uh had just intercepted the tornado just as it was touching down some of the most mild emotion i've ever seen and then uh, as we were following it east, we saw that it had thrown vehicles from the road. And when we were closer, it was a great tornado on vehicle. Mike Bettis' vehicle uh, was thrown, gosh, at least 50, 100, 200 feet from the road. And so you guys are in Oklahoma City right now, is that right? That's correct. Okay. And uh, have you had a chance to talk to Mike? Uh, yeah, we had a chance to talk to Mike and his crew, and uh, he seemed to be doing okay, kind of shaking up. Uh, there were some injuries uh, in, in his crew, and uh, I saw some uh, some cuts, uh, some scrapes, and uh, uh, looks like nothing too serious. But it looks like they got very lucky. It was a it was a very tense tornado, uh, intensified very fast, got very very big. All right, Ken. So I mean, you're you're a chaser too, and you're out there. You guys are you know putting your lives, as we can see, on the line to provide some very valuable information. And with that, can you give us an update on what's happening right now in Oklahoma City? 